First up tonight at 10, this man is facing some serious charges tonight for impersonating a deputy. And it wasn't with lights and sirens. He is accused of holding a man and woman at gunpoint at his home in Citrus County. Thankfully, the victims were able to escape. Fox 13's Justin Matthews is in the studio tonight. Justin, this was a very scary situation for the victims. Yeah, a very scary situation. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office uh, says that Eric Johnson posed as a deputy and uh, showed up at a couple's home with what looked like an assault rifle and ordered them to come out. They thought they were doing the right thing, listening to a deputy, but found themselves being held at gunpoint. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office says the guy on the left, Eric Johnson, impersonated a deputy and held a couple at gunpoint at their home assassin home on Wednesday. The guy on the right, Maynard Selvog, is accused of being his accomplice. If you see a, a random SUV with another gentleman sitting in it, that would be kind of a red flag to say, okay, if these were two deputies together, why would they both not be knocking on my door. Kirby Lavalley is a former law enforcement officer who says there were a lot of red flags. If you're stopped by a professional law enforcement officer, you know, it's like the old rule of knock and announce, right? You're going to let the person know, hey, this is who I am. This is the reason why I'm stopping you, or this is the reason why I'm at your house, and this is what's going to happen from here. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office says Johnson arrived at the home carrying an AR-15 style rifle, knocked on the door, and shouted Citrus County Sheriff's Department. Investigators say Johnson pointed the weapon at them and demanded they step outside. One of the victims tried calling 911, but Johnson took away the phone. The other victim ran to a neighbor's place to get help and noticed Selvog sitting in the driver's seat. You have a guy that's by himself. He has another gentleman in a vehicle, supposedly, from what we're hearing. And he's with an AR-15 by himself, banging on a door, yelling, you know, sheriff's office. But it just seems out of place, right? Because why would just one sheriff's deputy be there? Investigators say a fight broke out and the neighbor was able to take Johnson's gun away. So he and Selvog ran off. When deputies arrived, they were able to track both of the suspects down with the help of a canine and take them into custody. Yeah, and this may sound kind of weird, but if you get pulled over or by a, what looks like an officer and um, they show up at your doorstep, you're not really sure if it is a legitimate officer. Uh, Lavalie says that you can call 911 and the dispatcher will be able to confirm if it is indeed an officer or not.